Dexter Griff from the popular web series Red vs. Blue. What's up, sluts? I'm Sister from the sweet raves and bitchin' parties at Red Base. Burning Man ain't got shit on me! Yeah, the family's real proud. And I know what you're thinking. My the place is a dump, dump and I, I want to live somewhere exotic. exotic. Yeah, fucking nailed it. Well, your worries are over. Because I'm in the real estate game now, and I'm gonna make a buttload of cash! Uh, I mean, help you find a new home on lovely Earth! Nice save. Oh, for the love What the hell are you two doing? Uh-oh. Nerd alert. I saw the stupid commercial you two have playing all through the base, and I had to come stop it before you get someone killed! Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's just a shitty ad. Hey! Calling it like it is. It's a shitty ad for real estate. How's that gonna get anyone killed? Yeah, nerdbot. I'm just trying to make some cash. Hey. Don't forget to give your big brother a cut of that action. We'll talk later. What you're trying to do is sell people a load of crap and get them to move to the most inhospitable place in the galaxy. Uh, what is he talking about? Uh, what the hell just happened? And what is that? What is that? What is that? I'll tell you what that is. That is a beautiful three bed, two and a half bath located in wonderful Phoenix, Arizona. Just minutes to trendy downtown shopping in decadent restaurants and bistros. It's the perfect home for the new couple looking to get serious and take that next step. Owning a new home. Wow. The only thing you got right about that is that it is, in fact, Phoenix. Holy shit. Dude, seriously? Yeah, man. That's what happened to it after the greenhouse effect went rampant and toasted the entire planet. Greenhouse indeed. What does every new house need? Its own greenhouse. It gives you the chance to grow your own food and the sense that you're better than everyone else for doing so. And look! Lava energy! You can harness the power of lava and live off the man's grid. Or whatever! Okay, again, you got one thing right. You could technically run off of thermal energy and be off the power grid if you weren't a smoldering pile of ash before then. It's completely too hot to survive there! Ugh! Whatever. Here, this place is perfect. This lovely Florida, I mean... Southeastern American Island chain home is the tits. Four beds, four baths, and a fucking pool! What do you have to say about that, Simmons? It's airtight. Wait for it. Right again, sister. It's airtight because it's under the fucking ocean! After the greenhouse effect went beyond our control, it kept heating the planet, which in turn melted the polar ice caps, which caused the oceans to rise and flood every coastal country in the world. The Earth isn't the thriving oasis it used to be. People completely fucked it, and by the time we tried to fix it, it was way too late. It's all thanks to the procrastinators like you two. I object. Procrastination's led to all sorts of great stuff. Like what? Eh, I'll write a list later. If Earth's so far gone, then why does this dream house exist? This rustic three-bedroom, two-bath is on a full ten acres of land. Nothing but wide open living here, partner. Fuck. What the hell was that? Yeah, that's what's left of the Pacific Northwest. You guys are gross and boring and stupid and gross. Here's a fresh one that no one has seen. Cue that tape, DJ! <clears throat> Enjoy pure, clean, untainted living in this cottage in the Canadian wilderness. Imagine birds. Clean water! Trees! Bird trees! This place is a steal! Mm-hmm. I don't trust it. Yeah, me neither. Why is it so cheap? What's the catch here? Catch? What catch? There is no- Shut up. Yes, there is. There's always a catch with you. Come on, what is it? Indian burial ground? Toxic waste dump? Toxic Indian burial ground? Ugh, <sighs> okay, fine. There's one tiny, little, not even an issue thing. Like, it's such a small thing, it's not even a thing thing. All right, let's hear it. <sighs> the neighbors aren't the greatest. Come on, that cannot possibly be the only reason. Let me finish, cockholster! <gasps> they aren't great because they're white supremacists, and they all moved into the woods after it was made painfully clear that there was no place for them in normal society. And while the Canadian government wasn't thrilled at the idea of them moving into the country, they're still Canadian and way too nice. So, they forced the white supremacists to live in the woods now, assumingly blowing each other all the time. I don't fucking know. What?! Wow. I can easily say this is the worst of them all. You should be ashamed of yourself, sister. Ashamed. Hey, man. A girl has to make a living somehow. Ashamed. ashamed. Well, what am I supposed to do? Sell all these death homes to the stupid fucking white supremacists? Huh. I think we just figured out how to start making the Earth a better place again. I'll go start making some calls. Try selling them on Lava House first. Those dickheads love burning shit. 